Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I analyzed the world record chess game between Magnus Carlsen vs Viswanathan Anand, this is truly the craziest game I've seen in my life. Ships don't sink because of the water around them, ships sink because of the water that gets in them. Don't let what's happening around you get inside you and weigh you down, so let's go, Anand started the game with e4, Magnus shows to play French defense, d4 d5, here Anand did not take the pawn or advance the pawn, instead he played the knight c3, so bishop b4, e5 which is called winner a variation, Magnus can attack the center pawn structure by pushing his pawns and join the knights to attack in it, queen b6 will create pressure to these pawns, Magnus goes as his plan, a3 takes takes. Look at the position of both side, I often played this opening against Leela Zero in my official online games, here Arnand can bring out his queen to attack Magnus and push his h-pawn sincerely which he played in the game, g6 h4, so h6 and Arnand pushed the h-pawn, here you shouldn't focus on 200 elo rated moves, your king structure is in danger so you should do something now, Magnus Carlsen closed his eyes to remember my name and he pushed g-pawn, Vichy said, oppose the problem is not solved yet. You have to deal with my roadside gangsters if you defeat me in chess, dark bishop will attack the queen, h-pawn will be past pawn and the queen is ready to pressure his rook which is why Magnus brings out his queen to target the pawn with a king rook fork, bishop d2 and f5, what the four, I mean what the heck is this, Magnus pushed all his major pawns towards white, Vichy is not less than Magnus, he pushed his pawn too. This guy is looking to the queen and if you dare to slap the guy then knight takes f6 will come, queen f3 knight e4, your one wrong move will change the game and your face completely, black will play castle, if g3 then e5, sacking the another pawn, you may take the pawn because you have IQ of 10 points, knight takes e5 and you cannot take the knight, you have to run your queen then knight c4 will destroy your position completely. First of all you have to run with your queen then knight will capture your bishop and later on, you will lose the game because you made one wrong move long time ago, no one can escape from his karma, so back to the position we have queen g3 g4, making a great pawn chain structure, and after some moves later, we have queen exchanges on f2, Magnus Carlsen's structure is in the light squares which is why the light square bishop is more important than the dark square bishop. The bishop can't even move because of his own stupid looking structure, if I play from this position from both side to each other then I can defeat both of them in 20 moves, bishop d2, threatening to play b6 then knight c4, I am fast forwarding the game, because the game is so long, bishop b4 to target the knight so we have knight b7, knight d4 with a threat of playing bishop, a6 to target it, and after some moves later, we have a5 which you cannot take because after takes, the rooks will get the open files which is not suitable for black, because the c file isn't even open for black, so b5 rook d1, here if you play any normal kind of move for example a6, then Anand will capture the pawn and Anand, in our Indian context, Anand means happiness and Vichy means world, so Vichy Anand means happiness from the world, Vichy will feel happy by defeating his little brother Magnus Carlsen. This isn't possible because of the same reason, Rook d7 will frock your pieces, and white will successfully make his pass pawns, black will lose the game and with that, the king isn't even safe, but Magnus knows it because he is a stockfish subscriber, he played bishop e7 first, and I am continuing the game fast because there is no special thing, ok g3 by Magnus, if you dare to take the pawn then rook g8 check will come, look at this. Rook and bishop line up on there and the h pawn may fall which is why Vichy backs his king and after some moves later Magnus pinned the knight to the rook, bishop d6 to block it, so bishop e4, the pawns and the bishop have a great friendship, black is threatening to capture the bishop so Vichy moved back his bishop, rook d5 and Carlsen wants to re-rotate his knight on c6, which will be a crazy idea to attack the rook, so after few moves later, if you dare to take the knight, then after takes takes. Bishop takes knight, and how will you protect the g2 pawn the h5 pawn? Position will be very bad for you because the king is also in there, so in this position we have knight e2, let me fast forward the game for a last time otherwise the game will be long like 9 minutes or 8 minutes, here Arnon decided to capture the knight for a dark square bishop, 
because most of the black pawns are in the light square, so after takes, king c1, it's a mistake move, best was to play knight f1, because after white king reaches in the queen side, the black king reached in the center side. He cannot jump over the true molia, so king c5, and after some moves later, look at the position here, very special position, what should black play now? Because everything is locked, Magnus played amazing move before, c takes before, he didn't take the b pawn, let me show you why, if you do it then after c3, takes, king a3 and the king will stay on this squares to stop pawn promotion and black can't do anything here, so in this position, Magnus played king d4, getting closer to these pawns, c3 king here b5, to get a passed pawn, he has to take the pawn, a6, king d2 a7, bishop, d5 and here best move is to play knight f1 check, let me show you the variation. King e2 then knight check again, king here to touch the knight and the knight will do suicide by capturing the pawn, to get two passed pawns on different files, the bishop can't stop both of them at the same time, for that reason Vichyan and could win the game, but he is not smart like me, he played knight takes. f5 first, it's a blunder move, best was to play a knight check, you may ask why it's a blunder. White is about to promote his next queen, the reason why it's a blunder move because of before, look at the black king position, because after e7 pawn takes pawn, white should move the black king to the f square with knight f1 check, though the black king is stayed on the d square and he is supporting the pawn to get promotion, white didn't find knight f1 check to deflect the king position which is why now, Magnus Carlsen is totally winning here, white promotes his queen, takes, queen promotes again. Queen is targeting to the bishop, but best move for black is to push the c pawn, let me show you the variation, no matter if he takes the bishop or not, black will successfully promote his new queen, repetitive checks isn't possible because everything is fine, we will do queen exchanges on c2 then Balk will win up the white pawns on fh squares which will lead checkmate to white king, but in our actual game, Magnus played bishop e4, blunder move, queen d8 check bishop blocks. Queen b6 is the best move here let me show you the variation, queen promotes then queen check, king here then white will surrender his queen, king here queen check, then queen d4 will come, if you take it then it will be a stalemate, game will be a draw but Vichy didn't find queen b6, he played queen d4, blunder move, here if you promote the pawn into a queen, then queen c3 check will come again, king takes queen and it will be a stalemate, so back to the position, we have knight promotion, king here c3. Another pawn is coming so after some moves later, we have queen b6 and Magnus played absolute 200 elo missed win move knight c1, here best move was to promote the pawn into a new queen, then after queen exchanges on b2, black will completely win the game because he have two pieces, but in our actual game, stupid Magnus Carlsen didn't find queen promotion move, he played knight c1 for no reason, maybe he had low time, and here they decided to draw the game, because after h6, queen promotes. Takes takes h7, bishop here and two moves later we will get this position where the bishop and pawn have a great combination, knight will protect the king position and white's king entry points, white king and queen together can't damage the black position, it's a draw. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.